according to things. So instead of an alienable right, they say, uh, we create our own morality. You know, it's socially constructed. It's not constructed by uh, some creator being, and there's nothing uh, uh, objective about it in any case. Now, these ideas are being put forward by leading intellectuals, political leaders, and I'm just going to give you just a couple of examples to, to show you how this has worked itself out. Oliver Wendell Holmes Jr. was one of the most famous jurists of the early 20th century, the Supreme Court Justice of the United States. And I was rather shocked to learn as I did research on my book that Oliver Wendell Holmes Jr. did not believe that humans had any kind of inherent rights, including the right to life. He specifically denied that there was such a thing as the right to life, despite the fact that he was supposed to be holding the Constitution and the Declaration of Independence in his role as a Supreme Court Justice. And because of that, he supported infanticide for babies that were born with disabilities. So here's just one kind of example. A famous jurist, himself on the Supreme Court, he wasn't on the Supreme Court, obviously, still when Roe v. Wade came around. This is the early 20th century right there. Let me get some more contemporary examples. Uh, a famous physicist and cosmologist named Lawrence Krauss, who wrote a book called The Universe from Nothing, had said at one point, and this is a, I'm not going to give you many more examples of this kind of Thing, and I do have many in my book, but it says, we're just a bit of pollution. If you got rid of us and all the stars and all the galaxies and all the planets and all the aliens and everybody, then the universe would be largely the same. We are completely irrelevant. That kind of attitude is ringing through the halls of academia uh, in many ways. Uh, he said that, he, and when he talked about morality, he said that love, this was his view what love is, it's just the firing of neurons and biochemical reactions. Okay, that's what love 